While many residents in eastern Kentucky attempt to rebuild their lives following catastrophic flooding that left homes and businesses destroyed, many residents are frustrated, including one mother who was denied four times for assistance. For Pike County resident and mother of six, Kara Tackett, July 28th will be a day she and her family will never forget. My children, my grandmother and my mom, um, I told them I was leaving work early. I went ahead and gave my patients meds and um, got them caught up and I was leaving work to get to my kids because they're calling and they're telling me that they're watching everything that they know wash away. I mean, my son is hysterical. Uh, my husband's holding him back because he wants to get to his pets, he wants to get to his animals, he wants... We have cats that's trying to swim across the water to us and it was... Um, they were terrified. Upon returning from work, Tackett discovered that her home had been destroyed. With nothing left other than the clothes they were wearing, Tackett began the process of applying for assistance. We immediately got in contact with our insurance company the very next morning and they told me on the phone that they weren't gonna be able to help, but that they would send me a denial letter. They told me I would need it for FEMA. Um, they sent it through email and we contacted FEMA and set up the account. After contacting her insurance company and approaching FEMA, she was denied for the second time, leaving her and her expected son without a home. At that point, Tackett went to the Small Business Administration for a loan. FEMA, again, was talking to us about the denial letter and I showed them again. So they sent us over to the SBA to apply for a small business loan. They said it was also for homeowners. We got turned down for that because I got taken out of work due to complications. We were trying to salvage, we were frantic. We were trying to salvage anything that we could out of our home because I mean, we had no clothes. We had no dry shoes. I mean, there was no food, there was nothing. And we were trying to salvage it in our clothes that we had on and lifting. I'm not supposed to lift. I'm high risk anyway. I've actually had three miscarriages. So he's our little blessing. At Pifel Medical Center, our vision of creating a heart and vascular institute that will rival any other in Kentucky is a reality. We've assembled a top team of more than 30 multidisciplinary providers. Together, those highly experienced providers perform many of the most advanced cardiac procedures available anywhere. We have armed them with cutting edge technology and resources needed to provide comprehensive heart care close to home. Pikeville Medical Center, when it comes to your heart, place your care in our hands. After returning to FEMA and appealing, Tackett and her family were denied assistance for a total of four times. From then, FEMA advised Tackett to keep appealing and that the process can take up to 90 days. You feel punished. You feel punished for being a victim of the circumstances and it was completely beyond our control and like my little grandmother was told that if she gets awarded money for her home, she got a four page letter from FEMA. If she gets awarded this money, she has 30 days to acquire flood insurance or she has to pay all the money back that FEMA has offered. And there's no way, there's no way you can do that. So it's almost like, it's almost like there is no help. There's no way out. It's, it's a clause everywhere you turn. There's fine print, there's red tape, there's clauses, and none of it is made known. These people are scared. A lot of these people don't have a computer. A lot of these people are not receiving their mail. I mean, it's not just me. I have several, several neighbors that lost everything and they have no way to communicate or anything like this, and they think help is coming. Amidst the obstacles Tackett and her family has faced, her hope is for FEMA to streamline the process, to better assist families, and to not give up. If you already know that there's an issue with the system, why not listen? Come out and see these people's properties, see what they're going through. Don't just sit behind a desk at a computer. Come out, put your boots on, lace them up with us, walk through the mud. Look at the children. I mean, let them talk to you. Don't give up. Don't quit trying. I know that it looks really bleak. It looks really bleak for me too. I understand it. But if you're able to hear things that I'm saying right now, it means that you're alive. I mean, there's so many other people that wasn't, I mean, the count I think last I heard was up to 39, did not make it out of this. This was a huge ordeal. And you're still here you're still breathing, there's still, there's still time that you can rebuild your life. It can be better than ever. We just gotta have the resources to do it, but do not give up. Reporting from Pike County, Kentucky, for Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.